but we have the moon popping out in the reverse. This is Pisces energy. Something has came out. Something has been revealed. It's like whatever the secret was, this got somebody guarded now that the truth is out. Whoever this King of Swords is, this could be you or this could be another person. But this person is someone who could have just ignored somebody with the Five of Pentacles. Um, they've distanced themselves from whoever this energy is. Yeah, you have the Queen of Wands in the reverse. So whoever this energy is, this is someone that they could have been in a relationship with. They found out that this person slept with somebody that they know, or they just found out this person cheated on them. This person is someone that's very immature. They're very loose with their sexuality. And this is the type of person that has multiple people that they sleep with. They don't really have to know that person. They just, they're just... This Knight of Wands non-committal. And they view this person as someone that does not have any self-respect. Yeah, and this person has low self-esteem. This is how they feel about whoever this energy is. Now, this was definitely someone that they were like sleeping with. This was a connection that... Could have been just based off of lust. And maybe this Queen of Wands in the reverse felt like they, you know, could use lust to manipulate that person or just to keep that person attracted to them. And it just did not work. Like whatever they found out about this person, it got them real guarded. Yeah, this is someone who was sleeping with multiple people. So they could have put this person in a third party. There could have been some type of love triangle. Yeah, they had multiple, multiple people that they were sleeping with. And you have dirty offer. Wow. Yeah. They realize this person is not who they expected this person to be. like whoever the person is that has gotten exposed they never wanted this king of swords to view them this way it's like this was supposed to stay hidden this could be a reputation that they have they didn't know this person would find out and with ego being here it's like they allowed their ego to make them believe that this king of swords was naive and they would never be able to put two and two together um, they would never see the truth about them. They would just accept what they were given to them with this dirty offer. Yeah. Somebody just never thought, somebody was so egotistic, narcissistic. To the point where they felt like they were above this king of swords. They never expected for that person to walk away and not be interested with uninterested being here. They never expected for this person to ignore them. Now it's like they're hurt. Their ego is hurt. And they know their ego is what got in the way of the connection that they um, had with this King of Swords. They know they messed this up, but they thought they had this person stuck, like hooked. And this could be on lust. Yeah. 
Yeah, they thought they had this person hooked on them. Wow. And it's like if this person started ignoring them, you know, kind of withdrawn from this person, acting as if they were uninterested, they were expecting for this person to like love bomb them. Like chase them down. Maybe they did this in the past. Yeah, maybe they did this in the past and they made that person believe that um, or it made them believe that they had this person hooked. If this was some type of situation where they would be going back and forth with this person, um, they expected for this person to kiss their behind by now, like come towards them, love bomb them, give them gifts or different things like that. But it's a lot that came out about this person. Yeah, a lot that this King of Swords just did not know. Yeah, and somebody is dodging bullets. Now, whatever came out, this has helped them to dodge a major bullet. Because with Dirty Offer and Love Triangle, this person could have caught some type of STD from another person. And it's like in a nick of time, this King of Swords found out the truth and they just cut this person off yeah it's like they dodged a bullet yeah and this is their karma whoever this this player energy is this knight of wands energy this person that felt like they had this king of swords hooked on them they had some type of control over that person this person would always come towards them and love bomb them shower them with gifts they would always have that person in the Knight of Cups. Yeah, this is their karma. Because somebody did not care who they hooked up with. This could be someone who likes to go out. They like to party. Yeah, and they like to um, do drugs. This person has a lot of different addictions with bad habits being here. This is someone that's toxic. This person also abuses divination. So with the Queen of Wands in the reverse, this could be what came out about this person. They could have found out that person was using some type of love spell or sex magic over them to have them hooked, to keep them attracted to them, keep them in the energy of kissing their behind or um, showering them with gifts, love bombing them. And they were obsessed with this. This person could have been doing this to multiple people. Somebody was definitely getting readings, lighting candles, reciting spells and different things like that. And they were addicted to this. Now they're going through karma. Now, if this King of Swords is someone that you know, or this could be someone you don't know because looking you up is here. This King of Swords could be studying you, looking you up, researching you. They feel like you're very focused right now. But this energy, this Queen of uh, Wands in the reverse, they found out that this King of Swords was looking you up, interested in you, and um, now it's like they're looking you up. This person is looking for dirt on you or something like that. With dirt digging. person could be looking you up because you're you're the one that exposed them take it where it resonates especially if this is someone that you know um you could have found out something about somebody that they were attached to 
And um, you could have warned this person. And now this energy that has gotten left out in the cold, they feel like the reason why this person is not interested in you, no longer hooked on them. I mean, I'm not, not interested in them and no longer hooked on them. It's because of you. Not realizing that something has came out about them with the moon being here. Whether you exposed it or somebody else exposed it, something is out, have came onto surface. Yeah, this person hooking up with multiple people. This is someone who often has one night stands, flings. They casually hook up with uh, different people. Yeah. So this could be someone that sleeps with different people to feed their addictions. They're willing to do anything to get money. And they were in fear of this person finding out. So this could be someone that was like a, a gigolo or a prostitute or something like that. And they never wanted the person that has guarded their self, this king of swords, to know. That they were sleeping with multiple people for money to feed this addiction. Wow. I'm getting this is something that... This could be something that you didn't warn them about. Like, they just found this out. This person is looking you up because this King of Swords is, like, interested in you. Or they're missing you or something like that. Yeah, they're looking you up because this person is someone who wants to date you. You've helped this King of Swords want to heal with date and healing being here. It's like they could have watched you improve your life. They've watched you make a lot of progress. And um, this is someone that's interested in like dating you. Yeah, you've helped this person to get their confidence back with liquid courage. And they've been secretly admiring you. So we have ghosted. So this is somebody who was interested in you, secretly admiring you, and they could have ghosted you in the past because they were attached to this person. But with Maz being here, this person, Maz, hadn't fell off yet. These secrets were still hidden. And it's like, if you expose something about this person... They were trying to make it seem as if you were trying to ruin their connection. Yeah, so somebody just disappeared. They ghosted you. Yeah, because something was off with divine timing. The timing was not right. It was the wrong timing for this person to come towards you. Yeah, they needed to get enlightened. Whether you want this person or not, they needed to find out something on their own. This person was learning a lesson and they didn't know. Yeah, they found out the truth. Now, this is someone who is wanting to express the way that they feel about you. They're wanting to reconnect with you. Because I'm getting, this is someone who had romantic feelings for you, but they were hiding it with mass being here and single.
Now, say if you warned this person about something that you've heard or found out, this could be intuitively with spiritual awakening. You ended up finding out the truth about whoever this king of swords is attached to and you warned them. This energy found out that you warned them about either this, this divination abuse. I'm getting that's it. I'm getting you didn't even know that this person was someone that was um, sleeping with multiple people. You just warned them about whatever this, this manipulation was. This trickery. Because you were enlightened about this, you went through some type of spiritual awakening and you found out the truth. If this is someone that you're destined to encounter, partner up with, you have um, a lot of chemistry with this person. It wasn't the right time. Because this is someone who needed to heal from whatever it is that was being thrown at them for a long time before wanting to come towards you in the Knight of Cups with date being here. Before a meetup could take place or, you know, an encounter. This is, this is a divine encounter. Now that the truth is out, they feel like they sabotaged this connection. If this person was trying to make you out to be a liar... They've sabotaged their self trying to sabotage you because they wanted it to, They this person wanted to make it seem as if you were jealous or you lied because you were alone or you were single. Yeah. But I'm getting, you were guarded. You were in isolation at this time that you were going through this awakening and you could have been getting a lot of visions, a lot of intuitive downloads about this person that you have this soul contract with. Yeah. And it's like whatever they did to try to make it seem as if you were jealous, you lied. Um, this is how the truth ended up coming out about things that you didn't know. You didn't expose. This King of Swords did not know. So this immediately backfired. Yeah, it's like you were focused on your responsibilities at this time. You just warned that person. And you were doing a lot of reflecting. Yeah. Somebody just did not want this person to think that you were someone that they were destined to encounter, partner up with. Somebody was upset. I'm getting this was other people as well. Yeah. There could have been other people that were involved too outside of this energy that was trying to create confusion. So there were multiple people that disagreed with this connection between you and this person. And these are definitely people that they needed to release in order to fulfill this soul contract that they have with you. Because these are people that have been creating um, too much confusion to the point where there was a lot of misunderstanding, miscommunication between you and this person. And they allowed it. Not knowing that these are people that are blockages to the connection that you and them share. Yeah, these are people that did not like or they don't like the chemistry between you and this person. They don't like the fact that you have inspired that person to love their self, work on their self with self-love being here. You've helped them to see their flaws, work on their shadow self. You make this person feel good about life. It's like whatever you have done 
to inspire this person, even though you're not attached to this person. I'm getting you warrant this person about something and they kind of just ghosted you. They could have been coming towards you in this night of wands. Like hoping to be in some type of secret connection with you or um, put you in a third party and it did not work. Yeah, it's like the way that you have inspired this person, they feel like whoever these people are, are people that just don't care. They don't appreciate them. They feel like these people don't value the same things that they value out of life, especially if they're able to see things from a higher perspective. Now that they're guarded, they've set boundaries. This is someone who's realizing that they have a different route to take and it does not involve any of those. Um, these people that were trying to disagree with them, confuse them. It's like they wanted that person to be unsure about where you and them stand. I never meant to hurt you. So this King of Swords, they never meant to hurt you. They're wondering, can you and them work this out? They want to make it up to you. I see you in myself. So this is someone who feels like you and them have similarities. This could be your twin. This is someone that's mirroring you. Yeah, they've never met someone like you. This is someone who was fighting karmic battles and they did not know that they were in a karmic cycle. Now that this person is releasing what no longer serves them, they're wondering if um, you would wait for them. This person wants you to be patient with their process of growth. And this drastic change that they have made. This is someone who have stepped into their power or they're stepping into their power. And they're wanting to make sure that they're in alignment or everything is in alignment. In order to like, Fulfill this destiny, this soul contract with you. Yeah, they're severing ties with a karmic situation and they're completing out a karmic cycle. And it's like this person does not want you to like wait for them and just wait by the phone. This person wants you to be happy. They want you to live your life. Um, they don't want you to give up hope. They don't want you to give up on the connection because they are well aware of what has took place. They just did not go through this awakening at the same time you went through it. Your spiritual awakening triggered their awakening. This is someone who feels good when they know that you're happy. You're doing something that you enjoy. This is someone who does not want you to be stressed out over this connection. They want you to be at ease. This connection is supposed to bring you and them closer together. Um, not only on a spiritual level, but a physical level. It's meant to help you and that person grow physically and spiritually.
Yeah. This is someone who knows that you have expectations. And they want you to be proud of them. It's like they don't want you to be disappointed. This is someone who respects you and they did not want you um, to view them a certain way, especially if they were in a toxic cycle. So they ghosted you. Yeah, they don't want you to view them a certain way. This is someone who was so far away from their spiritual self. It's like they operated more out of a low vibrational energy and they're realizing this is how they attracted this queen of wands in the reverse. Ever since they met you, their whole life has changed and they didn't understand what it was at first. They didn't know what it meant. All they know now is that they don't want to lose you. The thought of you um, giving up on this connection, not being with them, it keeps them kind of like up at night. So this person could be like having sleepless nights. Yeah. Yeah. This is someone who knows that this is you and them are going through a separation, but this separation is giving both you and them the opportunity to work on um, being the best version of yourselves. Yeah, they just didn't. This is someone who just did not want you to see them a certain way. Especially if they were, as I say, operating more out of a low vibrational energy, their, their shadow side. They didn't want you to see this. So they've been doing a lot of work on their self. Whoever these people are that they were attached to, they're realizing that they have different paths. They have to free their self. They have to remove what, what no longer serves purpose on their path. This is someone who's been doing a lot of work. It's like this person had difficulties with expressing their self. Um, they also had insecurity. Something was eating this person up. Where they just needed to release some type of fear. These insecur um, insecurities and just leave it behind. Because it was stopping them from being able to uh, manifest this connection that they want to have with you. Yeah, because you have one card that says, leave your fears behind. They are stopping this relationship from blossoming. Then you have this other card that says, you have been manifesting this relationship. Everything you want will soon be yours. So if you're someone who has been manifesting the connection, you woke up before this person did, you've been doing a lot of work on yourself, you've ended out a cycle um, that no longer serve purpose in your life. You've cleared out a lot of negative karma. This has helped them to see that they're learning lessons. These are lessons that will never be forgotten. Some of these lessons are similar lessons that you've already learned. But they have to release this fear, this regret, these insecurities in order to walk into this soul contract with you, in order to make the effort. Yeah, they're being called to move forward. 
Because whoever you are, you're this person's true love. They were definitely around a lot of people that wanted them to overthink the situation. This could be think negative about you, play negative scenarios over and over in their head. And it has created a lot of issues that was not there at first when this person um, like first met you, had their first encounter with you. So yeah, they needed to clear out their energy, get their energy balanced out because something is definitely getting ready to happen with divine timing being here. There's going to be like another, um, there's a, there's another chance between you and this person to, yeah, there's going to be another chance. Divine timing is here. Um, something is worth the wait. This connection is worth the wait. Everything is unfolding. So no matter what this confusion was, there was still going to be another chance for you and this person to reunite. Yeah, you have unconditional love. The love between you and this person is eternal. Nothing and no one can take it away from you. So these are people that did not know whatever they were doing. It wasn't going to change the way that this person feels about you. They were keeping their self away from you because this is someone who needed to work on their fears, their insecurities. And want to make the effort to Take the steps that they're being guided to take. So yeah, it's like, wow, they were, it's like this entire time it's been like, You've been in a certain energy and they've been in another energy. It's not in alignment. And they're trying to get in alignment with you. While they were overthinking a situation, you're in this energy of being patient while things are unfolding because you know this connection is worth the wait. You know that this person is going to overcome whatever this is with balance being here. You know that this is a connection that cannot be rushed. And it's like you knew all of this before this person knew. Before they found out the truth. Yeah. We have the Page of Swords. And the Six of Swords, yeah. They've definitely watched you move on from whatever this cycle is that you call. This was definitely a toxic cycle. And they've watched you start over. They see you're the type of person that follows your intuition. You trust your instincts, your feelings about certain things, situations. This is someone who needed to release fear of being afraid of stepping out of their comfort zone. Changing their direction in life, something that they did not expect to do. This transformation, this transition that they have watched you make, this was hidden. It's like they didn't expect it. And this was something that they, all of the things that they've watched you do is things that they were afraid to do for their self. Yeah, they definitely felt like that somebody was trying to hold on to you. 
This could be after you moved on six of swords from that person. You've made a transition. This could have been an ex. This could be um, different people that you were close to. But somebody was trying to hold on to you a little bit too tight after you separated yourself from them. And it did not stop you from moving forward. You kept moving forward. You set boundaries. You still kept your guard up. You definitely made a head over heart decision. And this could be something that they, it was hard for them to do as well, make a head over heart decision. And now they're doing so. With the King of Swords. So I'm going to close this reading out with one of these messages from the universe oracle cards. See what messages the universe has for us um, to close out this reading. Okay, so this card says things are going to be turned in your favor. People that were against you all of a sudden will be for you. Ideas, creativity, promotion, contracts are going to come into your hands. So people that were against you in the past, they could have disagreed with that person. They're no, no longer going to be in that energy. These could be people that misjudged you. People that don't know you. And they could have been judging you based off of confusion, lies, negative gossip. Yeah. And now it's like they're going to watch something. It's like they've watched the tables turn. They've watched things turn out in your favor. Yeah, and it's because of the changes that you chose to make, the transition that you chose to make. In order to clear out what wasn't serving you anymore. 